Sherry Hill, her mom, Jeannie Farrington, and her son, Brandon, are among the small percent of people who got the worst form of valley fever. Later on, I developed um, a welt on my cheek, and that's how we found out it was disseminated. This disease is much um, worse than people realize. Of 150,000 cases reported each year, 60% of infected people show no symptoms. Most others develop pneumonia-like problems, and about 1% get the disseminated form where fungal spheres burst and spread spores into the lungs and bloodstream. That can cause welts or sores like these, sometimes months later. The fungus grows in the soil, and when things dry out, spores get out of the soil into the air, and if you happen to inhale one of these spores, uh, you'll become infected. Dr. John Galgiani just won a $2.2 million grant to see if there's a genetic reason why some people get so sick and if that could lead to a vaccine. It's part of uh, precision medicine that you might be able to find some specific way of preventing that uh, by intervening uh, to supplement or uh, to restore the genetics in a way that are protective. Dr. Galgiani believes a vaccine is possible since so many infected people become immune. Sherry Hill just wants to make sure people learn the symptoms so they can get treatment quickly if needed. I'm Marty Salt reporting.